It's back! I know you love them, they're your favorite! Art Book Reviews! Hey guys, this is Morgan with the Rotoscopers, and today I am giving you my review of The Art of Home. Now, if you don't know, Home is DreamWorks' newest animated feature. It was supposed to come out in 2014, but it switched release dates with the Penguins of Madagascar, so now it is coming out in March. Now, this book has come out, I mean, it's since it was supposed to come out in November, I'm sure they had this book ready to go. Um, so that's why I have this now, and it gives you lots of time to prepare. The book is supposed to come out in February sometime. I'm not going to give a date because typically with art books, the dates shift around a week or two, two weeks, three weeks. So it comes out sometime in February, possibly early March, but let's get into the review. All right, so the foreword is by Jim Parsons. He is the voice of O, one of the Booth, and he talks about how he's always fascinated by the making of animated films and just how they're able to create such expansive worlds. But then, being a part of an animated film and doing the voices is even cooler. So he gives us a little bit about that, how he totally fell in love with the world of, you know, this book was originally a book, um, but then DreamWorks took it, they put their own spin on it, and he just fell in love with these characters and just everything that they did. So that is the foreword. Then we have a preface by the film's director, Tim Johnson. And this is really interesting because he doesn't just you know, say blah 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 blah, it was great working on this movie, blah blah blah, it has a lot of heart, you know, they can get kind of typical and, and stereotypical I guess, um, but he does it in a poem, and so you're really interested in reading this because I've never seen anyone do a poem before and just, it's very lyrical and fun, so check it out, it's cute. So the book is divided into three sections after that. We talk about the booth, and they are more circular, shaped, very round. Everything about their world is circular, spherical. Um, then we have the humans, which everything is basically box-like. You know, the way that we're designed, we're very rectangular. You know, we live in basically boxes, and we have boxes inside of our boxes. And then the Gorg, who are triangles and very pointy and sharp, and obviously the bad guy. So as I was going through this, and you know, they have those three sections, and that's one thing that the Rise of the Guardians, the art of the Rise of the Guardians was very similar in that way. They had their characters designed by shapes. And as I was reading, that was something that stood out to me, is that DreamWorks sort of starts, you know, the process of their films by what are the key shapes for each, you know, set of characters, this world, that world. So they did that with Rise of the Guardians, they're doing it here, and it's just such a great way to set up, you know, the film, you know, because obviously we, the Boove are first, and their, their worlds are very different, and then we have the humans, and then the Gork. Uh, I really liked it, and I love... You know, I like when they start with characters and they give you the worlds or whatever, but I'm always open to new ways to lay out art books, and this was interesting to me, and I liked it. So one thing I noticed in this book is they did they introduced us to characters, you know, O and Tip and whatnot, but I love preliminary sketches. I love the actual, you know, it's called pre-vis, you know, pre-visualization. I like the pre-part, not how it ultimately ended up. I like the development, right? Um, and they didn't really have that. They really showed us, here is O, oh, here's what his character looks like, here's some sketches of him so you can see facial expressions, but we don't ever get to see what he looks like, you know, before they found his final form. And that was really disappointing to me because that's my favorite part, because these characters look very different than they did in the original book, and so obviously they, you know, had to develop, and let's try this, let's try this. I mean, it's an alien, for heaven's sakes. There are lots of different things you could do to create an alien, and so, yeah, that was kind of like the one downside about this book, is we just don't see that, you know, very, very beginning preliminary stages. It's more like, all right, everything, we figured it all out, here we go, now here's the art. Um, so yeah, same thing with the humans and the Gorg, they, they don't really give us much preliminary, and to me that is a huge negative, because that's why I read these books, because I just love seeing that sort of art. And not to beat a dead horse, but you know, the same thing with Tip, like what an interesting character, she's voiced by Rihanna, I mean, she has such a, a unique look. She's kind of not yet a woman. I mean, I'm not a girl, not yet a woman. Britney Spears. Anyway, she's not yet a girl, not yet a woman. She's sort of in between teenager, and, and they really focused on making sure that she felt like a real woman. She didn't have these exaggerated curves. She wasn't overly skinny. And so I would have liked to have seen more of that preliminary, like, development. Like, how did they get to her? Lots of questions I'm left with. <laughs> 
So one thing you'll notice in this book is that it's very colorful. The color palette that they chose in this movie is very bright. You know, it is set in Earth for the most part, but they really wanted to oversaturate a lot of things. So that's one part when we were in the human world section, I really liked looking at it. Like, because we do go visit various places in this film. So you see Paris and you see all these different places and they just look so different than you're used to seeing. So that was a part of the book that I was definitely interested in seeing and I liked. So at the very end, we get an afterword by Adam Rex. Now he's the original writer of The True Meaning of Spec Day. If you don't know, this movie was originally called Happy Smeck Day instead of Home. Uh, home is a bit more generic. Uh, Smeck Day, I felt, had a lot of just vibrancy and punch to it, but for one reason or another, they changed it to Home. And he gives his thoughts on giving these characters to DreamWorks. And he, initially, he was really concerned about his characters, that the world is going to look different than how he imagined it, and it was. But he says over time, he really grew to love these characters in the world that DreamWorks had created and I just thought it was really cool to get his take because these are his characters and DreamWorks is adapting it. They can kind of do whatever they want but you know he really is on board. He loves the movie and it's just a great way to finish this all off. All right all in all I am going to give The Art of Home three stars. I was just really disappointed in the fact that the art was just kind of final art, final designs, um, but it is jam-packed with a lot of stuff. So if you are a DreamWorks fan, an animation fan, you're gonna love this. Um, you know, this got me really excited to see Home. I think Home has sort of gotten the short end of the stick. You know, it's been pushed back, it's now in March, but seeing this and seeing everything behind it now, I'm really excited. I, I can't wait to see it in theaters, and this book just gave me a little taste of what to see. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what your favorite section of the art of Home is. Do you like the booth? Do you like the humans or do you like the Gorg? Be sure to thumbs up this video if you like DreamWorks Animation and subscribe for more amazing art book reviews. And also, if you want to buy The Art of Home, the link is in right here, but then it's also in the show notes. So check it out, it's good stuff. And uh, anytime you use that link and purchase anything from it, it gives us a little kickback so we can do more of these amazing reviews. All right guys, until next time, I'm Morgan and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube.